Hello and welcome to Robot Framework Tutorial. In this tutorial series, we will understand or learn robot framework automation step by step from a very beginning to the advanced level. Now, to start with, we'll start from the basics of what is robot framework. We'll understand a little bit about the concepts, who developed it, and what all key information you need to know about the robot framework and then we'll walk through the environment setup what are the prerequisites and then go through the environment setup and start with the very first script and once we are done with the first script we'll start with the advanced concepts of the robot framework so let's get started and I'll open the slide that I have created for the robot framework so here if you can see on this tutorial series what we are going to cover is we'll cover in this tutorial what is robot framework a brief introduction and then what are the installation prerequisites and development environment setup steps so this is the first step before you can start learning any of the automation tool or framework so you need to have the basics of what the tool is all about and then you need to know what are the prerequisites to configure the development environment before you can actually start with so let's get started in the robot framework so what we what is robot framework it is an open source test automation framework so you don't have to pay anything for using the robot framework it's open source and it is available for free and it was initially developed by Pekka Clark at Nokia Networks and um, Pekka was the guy who initially developed it and then it has been made open source to be used by all others. So there is a community for robot framework who develops and maintains the framework. Then uh, the core framework was implemented using the Python programming language but there is a flavor of um, it also runs on Jython and the R and Python so you can use robot framework with Java as well as .NET then it utilizes keyword driven testing approach so which will cover a lot in a lot more detail uh, in uh, the upcoming tutorial and then it is operating system and application independent so you can run it on any operating system or um, the application so it's it's not dependent on it, any operating system or application then uh, the testing capabilities uh, that are provided in robot framework there are lots and lots of libraries that you can use however if you want to create your own custom libraries you can extend and implement your custom libraries using python or java so this is very brief introduction about the robot framework and because we are not going to too much detail or theoretical detail of the framework so we'll cover what exactly the framework is uh, robot framework is and it and then we'll go from there so the next step is to uh, install the prerequisites and the development environment so what are the prerequisites to set up your development environment for the robot framework so the first step is to install the python and pip so first step is python then install pip and if you're installing Python, um, then by default pip is included in the installation unless until you deselect the pip installation. So I've already created a tutorial on how to install Python, pip and configure the path. So you can follow step one, two and three in that particular tutorial, which will be added in this playlist as well. Then the next step is to use pip to install robot framework and the fifth step is to use pip to install selenium library now the fifth step if you directly run the fifth step pip install robot framework hyphen selenium library it will by default install robot framework as well but in order to show you the difference between robot framework and selenium library i have segregated these two steps separately so we'll install robot framework first using the uh, package um, python uh, package manager which is pip and then we'll use uh, pip to install the robot framework selenium library and then next tutorial we'll install pycharm ide and intellibot plugin and then selenium browser drivers before we can start writing our first test case using robot framework so 
as part of this tutorial because we have already configured python pip or installed python pip already and configured the path so we'll directly go and install pip uh, we'll install the robot framework and robot framework selenium library okay so let me go back and open the terminal okay so here i am let me open the terminal i'll maximize it let's see the python has been installed so to check that python is already installed on your machine just say python hyphen v and you'll see that python 2.7 comes by default with mac os now this tutorial series will be using python 3 so we'll simply need to say python 3 hyphen version to see the python 3 has been installed and yes python 3.8.1 has been installed on this machine as well let's see the pip 3 has been installed and pip 3 has been installed as well right so pip 19.2.2.3 has been installed now to install your robot framework you just simply have to type the command if you see here pip 3 install robot framework okay and it will it will automatically get all the dependencies for the robot framework and install all the dependencies and packages now if you don't say pip 3 by default if you say pip it will consider pip 2.7 and it will install robot framework for 2.7 and not 3.8 so please make sure that you say pip3 install robot framework and hit enter and now you will see that it will automatically collect robot framework dependencies it will download the packages that are required to install robot framework on your machine all right so you can see installing collected packages and you can see successfully installed robot framework 3.1.2 there is a warning you are using pip version 19.2.3 however version 19.3.1 uh, is available so we can consider upgrading pip so let's upgrade the pip as well so because we are getting the message so to install to upgrade we will simply use this command so pip install um, hyphen hyphen upgrade pip okay so we'll just um, copy this and paste the command and it will upgrade the pip before we can install the selenium library let's upgrade the pip as well so here i got the error the reason for that is because i didn't mention three okay so if we mention two then it will uh, it, if we just mention pip then it's by default uh, pointing to 2.7 so let's mention pip3 here and try to reinstall so i'll say pip3 install upgrade pip and see how it progresses so now you can see it successfully uninstalled pip192.3 and successfully installed pip1931 so with 2.7 there are some permission issues which will um, which I'll tackle later but to upgrade uh, pip3 we have already done upgrade now the next step in the whole process is to add or install selenium library so we have installed the robot framework and now we need to install the robot framework selenium library so the command is pip3 install robot framework hyphen selenium library okay so we'll simply use the same command so pip3 install robot framework and then selenium library okay and hit enter and it will automatically collect the selenium libraries and install the selenium libraries on your machine so let it finish so it has finished so there was some network error at my end and because of that the first time i ran it it failed and it was giving a message read timeout and i ran the same command again right and in the second time all the network was good so the installation of the selenium library robot selenium library has been successful so now we have successfully installed 
the robot framework and robot framework selenium library in, as part of this tutorial in the next tutorial we'll understand and install the pycharm id the community edition and the intellibot plugin and then we'll also download selenium browser drivers for the browsers that we want to automate with and then we'll start our writing our first script using the robot framework so hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching